Joel and the camera. Uh, KawaiiCon is set to take over the Hawaii Convention Center once again. The, the annual anime uh, convention takes place this coming weekend. Now, for more on what to expect, we've got uh, Angel here, we've got Alina here, we've got uh, Kalani here, okay. Justine here, who's all from the festival. And thanks for coming in, guys. Um, I want to start, first of all, with Jonathan. I'll start with you. What do you like the most about uh, KawaiiCon, and what do you want to tell people about it? Uh, the thing I like most about KawaiiCon is everything uh, that you can get involved in. There's dealers, uh, dealers room, artist alley, there's video gaming, it's anything for anybody. And I would like love for anybody to come, even, even if you slightly like something nerdier, anime like, just please come. It's oh, great. Okay, so uh, how many costumes do you have? I have uh, three, one for each day. That's generally what everyone does. Uh, one cosplay for every day. Some people have two a day, which is crazy to me. Okay, Alina, how many do you have? How many costumes? Do you have? I have three, one for each day. Okay, and <laughs> representing uh, which types of anime? Um, I like a lot of video game stuff. So I have one from like Nintendo. This one is from a mobile game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you've said that uh, people come from all kinds of places, not just here in Hawaii, to come to KawaiiCon, right? Yes, absolutely. In the artist alley, we do have a mix of local artists that love to come in, but we get people that fly in from the mainland, other islands that showcase their art as well. Okay. Uh, move over to uh, Justine for a little bit. Is there a series, a certain series that you enjoy anime-wise? Um, well, I really enjoy the Dragon Ball Z series. This is Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z. Um, I mean, we had quite a disappointing loss this year with the creator passing away. Um, so I really wanted to pay homage to him this year with doing this cosplay. You're really big on communities that come around and, and that are a part of this, aren't you? Yes, um, I've been a part of KawaiiCon for over 10 years. So every year I just love to see everybody that comes through, like from young kids all the way to grandmas and grandpas. Like uh, it just brings back like, together so many different types of people. Okay, uh, Angel, this is, you've been here in our studios uh, quite a few times, of yes. course, talking about this. So what is new this year that people can look forward to? Okay, so we do have a world premiere screening of Quality Assurance in Another World, uh, only at KawaiiCon. Uh, hosted by Takeshi Takadera. And then there's another screening called Mecha Ude, Mechanical Arms. And then um, we have a large gathering of guests this year. So speaking of uh, Dragon Ball Z, so it's uh, Christopher Sabat and Kyle Herbert. Wow. Uh, yeah, and then uh, so we got Johnny on Bosch as well. Mm -hmm. And then Cassandra Lee Morris and so forth. We have uh, Japanese talent. So we have Ai Maeda, Mad Kid, Acme, and uh, Nami, Nami Tamaki. Um, they're going to be performing concerts as well throughout the weekend, so it's okay. going to be a very great time. Okay, so where can people get tickets? How do the people get tickets? How do people get to go? So uh, you can register online through www.kawaiicon.com. Uh, you can download our app through Guidebook. Uh, all, the, all the information is on there on our website, and then you can stay up to date through our social media. If you wish to pay in cash, we have that uh, on site. Okay, once again, tons of people all down there every single year, so go check it out. We'll have more for you coming up. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now.